The siege of Oricum involved the military takeover of the strategic port of Oricum in the northern part of Epirus by Julius Caesar and his army, against Lucius Manlius Torquatus, who was appointed as commander of the town by Gnaeus Pompey. Chapter 1 Battle and Aftermath According to sources, a Pompeian fleet in Corcyra became aware of Caesar's fleet off the coast of Epirus, but Bibulus did not order any confrontation. He already had strategically placed a small fleet of eighteen vessels in Oricum Bay. With no opposition, Caesar landed in Palisti. He marched up the steep terrain to modern-day Lagora Pass. Due to it being winter, Caesar's army went through a narrow and difficult pass down the heights towards Oricum. While surprised by the unorthodox manner of Caesar's approach to the city, Torquatus manned the walls of the city with both Illyrian soldiers and local Greek civilians. The locals and the garrison, fearing the power of the Caesar's forces, opened the town's gates to allow Caesar to come into the city. Two of Pompey's lieutenants who were guarding merchant ships loaded with grain for Pompey's troops, sank them with their warships to prevent them from falling into Caesar's hands. Torquatus surrendered to Caesar, who released him unharmed. While Caesar's army resupplied and continued to march north, Torquatus left Oricum to join Pompey in Dyrrhachium. The remaining Pompeian fleet based in Oricum was seized by Caesar's army.